before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's OAC. Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. Today I'm gonna to go more into Spark saying that they increased their earnings and how people are not seeing the difference. But before we get into that, if you would like to know your FICO scores and what's your reports for all three bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to earn $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your time utilizing your vehicle, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a car you don't want to use your own, click the Wealth Higher Car link in the description below and along with the Wealth Dasher you can still make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your time. If you'd like to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below, then click Sign Up. If you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. If you'd like to earn, drive your Walmart Spark, click the Spark Driver Wealth link in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and get into this, uh, this comment left on the video about Walmart increasing their earnings. This comment is by DK. He says, I don't see where any earnings increased. It looks like they decreased the earnings plus took away shopping and delivery. I don't see where they're helping it. Hey, look, DK, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you definitely. Because again, I right after I posted that video, I actually went out to see if I would notice an increase in earnings. And my first one at the gate, about seven or eight miles, $12. That was one trip, one stop, one trip, one stop. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to go drive seven, eight miles. I gotta drive seven, eight miles back, only paying me about 12 bucks. That's 14 miles round trip. I don't see the increase, you know what I mean? And then right to that, it kind of like balanced out. So again, I still made about $19 per hour that day, but that's still a decrease from my average earnings of about 20, $21. The mileage did okay. The mileage I still ended up doing about like 175, just under two dollars per mile that day. So it wasn't terrible, but again, it was pretty much the same. So I didn't really see an increase. I didn't see a decrease either, but I didn't see an increase. So I just kind of feel you on that. All right, I feel you on that. On top of, I never did a shopping delivery, so I don't see shopping delivery. Yeah, I haven't seen a shop delivery in a while because I don't shop. So I never accepted those. I'll see them and I just push it to the side. I decline them. You know, I don't deal with the shop and delivery. I never did. So they never really sent them to me. So I can't say whether they're still doing shop and delivery or not. I don't know. I had a comment before in the same video. If you go to the video, you will see it. Somebody else said that they did a shop and delivery and they did 120 items and only came like 24 bucks. So maybe some areas are still doing it more than others you know i haven't seen one in about a month or so so i don't do it i decline those i barely do gmds but i know they still do gmds because they just had a bonus last week about uh doing a certain amount of gmds and they paying a certain amount of bonus i don't recall what the bonus was i did a video about it then it was one right after that that i didn't do a video about yet i am i do plan on doing a video about that to let you know that the GMD bonuses doesn't even matter because you're still putting out way more than what you're getting. I mean, the mileage don't add up. Gas is five dollars a gallon, so it doesn't add up to me. That little bonus is not going to do me any, any justice because it still doesn't make sense to do a 24 mile uh, non-stop GMD order. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
because it actually ended up being more than 24 miles. They'll tell you 24 miles, but it ended up being more than like 30 plus miles. And then you're way out from where you're at, so now you got to drive back. So it wasn't really worth it. And then you're taking two and a half hours, almost three hours to do them. <laughs> you know, so to me, it just doesn't make sense, all right, to do GMD or this. It just doesn't. All right, for you all that don't know, GMD is basically general merchandise. They call them dot com orders. So this general merchandise dot com order. That's, I don't do those. I just stay away from those. I also stay away from the shop delivers. Okay, I don't do shop delivery. If they not bring it out to me, throwing it in the back of my truck, and I'm out here delivering it, I'm not touching it. That's just how I do things. You know, but that's just me. But again, I do notice what you're saying about the uh, the earnings. Again, I don't necessarily see a decrease. I see a decrease as far as what they're putting out there. I don't see a whole lot of 24, 25, $29 orders anymore. That's only going about five miles. I like to get those quite a bit. I go five miles, they're paying me $26. Boom, I dropped that in a minute. No problem. Or if I see them, it's not in my time. So it will be something that it'll say, if I try to grab it, it'll say offer unavailable or something like that. And I'm like, okay. If it's unavailable, why you send it to me? You know, now I see something say twenty-two dollars three miles. I'm like, cool, boom. I try to get it, and then it sell me offer unavailable. I'm like, okay, why you send that to me? And I get those like two or three in a row, right? And then sometime I'll get a good one. That's an express. The express orders are usually good. My last express was only like sixteen dollars, but the express orders are usually twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three dollars. That's what usually express orders. Sometimes they're twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars. So I do like the express orders, even though my last one was on like 16, 17 bucks, but it still was only going about three miles. So that was cool with me. And it was only a few items, I think like maybe five items, you know, so, and also the alcohol orders are pretty good. I very rarely get a bad alcohol order where, you know, it's an order with a couple of things and they add the alcohol in it. So usually the alcohol orders are like $25 or something like that. So if you get alcohol, boom, you're good with that too. So, you know. But again, I do notice that my average few orders were not $20 orders. They were like 19, 20, 17, 16. And then again, like I told you that one I had for $12 and I was going seven miles, you know. Those are the orders I've been seeing mostly of. But again, it still ends up averaging out because they're throwing in those 20s. They're throwing them in there. And so it'll put you at like 17, 18, 19 dollars an hour. Yes, it's a little less than what I used to get. I mean, I remember I was doing four dollars per mile. Four dollars per mile. That's what I was averaging at one point. Four dollars per mile. I've never seen that before. Truck drivers wish they can get four dollars per mile. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was getting. And now I'm not really seeing that. All right. And I haven't really been out that much either. I've been kind of pulling back. Focusing on other things. Now we're going to get into that um, in other videos eventually. But I do still go out. The last couple of days, I definitely didn't go out because it was hot in the mug. I said, we're talking about 90 plus degrees, 100 degree index. I'm not going out there in that. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't been in a couple of days. But I do notice and I see your concern that it does seem to, it seem, it seems to, de it seems to have decreased a bit, at least by a couple of dollars. You know, these about a couple of dollars. And then we're talking about the tips. People haven't been tipping. You know, they haven't been tipping the same. I used to get $10, $15, $20 tips. Now I'll be happy if I get a $4 to $5 tip, you know. So things have changed a little bit. I get you what you're saying. I understand. And you are correct. You are correct. All right. So anyway, that's what's going on with, with Spark. Hope you guys understand what's happening out here. Let me know what's going on with you and Spark. Uh, visit DK's page, check him out. All right, and yo, thanks for watching. If you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week 
on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to It's Oasis, and until the next video, let's get this money.